Hello my friend, welcome back to Diesel Mercedes YouTube channel. I was not kidding that I want to completely get rid of, of this intake, that air intake which came from factory, keeps rattling there, right? And build some custom air for this engine to improve the breathing. So let's go in this episode to take it off and finally see how the turbo below it looks and sounds. Before I will remove it, let's have a last look on this atrocity and also do the sound check so we can compare it later when the turbo will be not suffocating with this old system. Let's get to the work. I will start with removing these three. These are actually eight millimeter bolts. And that should let me, I'm assuming, to remove this whole part. Except there is some trick to it, apparently. Oh, that was all the trick. It was holding on those. Excellent. Looks like vacuum or something, huh? I just bought it so I didn't even look how the filter looks like. Is it even necessary? Huh? Just out of curiosity. Another part. Here we go, the steel. All right. Always a lot of oil in it, right? That's normal. The filter. Yep. Not the cleanest. Really a lot of oil here inside. I'm going to continue with those three 10 millimeter bolts, or the nuts, excuse me which are holding that steel air filter housing. One, two, and three right here. Now I will use screwdriver to release this clamp, which is on this elbow, and it's clamping on that steel housing, right? So I want to have that loose, definitely, and hopefully, now I'm able to remove the monster. Alright, here we go. Look. My god, if I could lose so much weight so quickly, that will be ideal. It's starting looking really good here. So I moved the camera so you can keep observing from different angles. Unfortunately, I'm going to go on a very brief rant. Look at this. This clamp, which I just loosened, was nicely tight because it was a really easy access to it. What do you think about the bottom one? Look at it. It's not tight at all. There's missing probably the o-ring which is supposed to be inside. and. That entire time, when the turbo had a high demand for the air, it was not coming through that air filter, it was coming right here. Another garbage maintenance, it's unbelievable. Another so it should be very easy to undo this clamp, because it's loose, right? It's basically in the process of falling off. And the reason for it is that there is a, and always was bad access to it. And this is common, right? It's not something what happened first time. Here we go. That should already give 
Ah, but what, what's that going to be? All right. Yeah, boys. Here we can see inside, right? So there was completely false air coming in, unfortunately. Now cleaning us, it's extremely important around turbos, right? So I immediately, since I open here, the access to the front, I'm cleaning everything immediately. I don't want any dirt falling a little bit later inside. And because it's all about the looks, right? That's really important. I will remove this monstrosity from here, despite the fact that at this moment it's a support for the turbo oil line, right? That unfortunately rests on it and it's supported against the vibrations. But this will be only temporary fix and I will modify this area later. That was a 10 millimeter and these two are two 13 millimeters bolts. And there is one more 13 millimeter bolt down there. Here you go. We got it. I was able to wiggle this part out. So here is another crazy piece which will never come back and this starts looking really good in my opinion here obviously the turbo inlet right here is the passage for the air going in the engine here is the turbo part which is getting the exhaust gases inside and they are leaving to the exhaust here is the oil line which lubricates that bearing between these two. And here, this was on the bottom of that air filter where this blow by oil and fumes were coming in that filter, then through some special little assembly, and it was dripping into this pipe, which is basically a return to the oil pan together, right, they are side by side with the oil return from this turbo. I was able to free this tube from its slavery. It came off right here. So this elbow is actually nice and tight. Normally it always leaks oil around here, but this one was good. This video is about the removing of that crazy air intake. We did that. These modifications I will be doing later. I'm not going to remove this right now because that will be the modification of EGR here. That will be for the wastegate and all these dysfunctional valves. But I would love to show you inside of the turbo but the whole body and everything it's in the way I already was able to touch the wheel there's no play on it at all so let's go and start it up and listen how it sounds I just wanna start it up and hear the difference also observing that blow from this elbow right it's absolutely minimal so that's something what I don't need to 
really worry and it will be easy to hook it to this return pipe and direct it that way back to the engine. This will need a support, right, that it doesn't get damaged from excessive vibration, which obviously these engines have. Well, that will be it for today, for this video. Everybody could clearly see how to remove that entire engine air intake and also what is hiding below it. And we nicely saw entire turbo. And always make sure you are subscribed because I have way more videos coming your way very soon. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.